Welcome to my Everyday Mom Challenge video. Okay, what's going to be really cool about this video is that I'm going to be talking from multiple viewpoints here as an educator, as a homeschool mom, and as an author. First, I have pitched the idea at my school for teachers to encourage their students to build websites. And I'm going to tell you why. In the world, when we're building uh, skill sets for students, it's important that they not only understand how to build a website, but how to manage it, how to edit it. If they could get these crucial life skills now, let's say they're sitting on a team and they're in a startup company and they need somebody to review their website or just look over things and they could critically analyze, maybe see some areas of improvement and be able to critique, add value to the discussion. And they have already built platforms in the past. They may also be able to help with their own businesses, small businesses. So it's that easy. If you are in the homeschool world and you're looking for a really cool, authentic project, I would really encourage you to allow your students to build websites. Now it could be for their interest, it could be uh, for book reviews, it could be for math tutorial videos. You realize the sky's the limit when you're thinking about what could your website be about. When my son was in homeschool, uh, ninth grade, he took a journalism class and I made him create a blog. He was really following WWE very heavily at the time. So he was doing WWE reviews. And on this, this blog, which he also used as a website, because many people are using WordPress, not only for blogging, but for their main website. He was um, very successful in maneuvering through that platform and learning the ins and outs on how to write for public viewing. So I would encourage you to consider having your students build a website. Websites can, like I said, range from so many different topics. The English class that actually completed the website had to create one that was medically themed based, um, book reviews, they had to um, provide links. Um, think about how far you could take this. I mean, guys, it's just limitless. And so you say, well, what kind of sites could I use? Well, as you can see, this one is my author website. I love GoDaddy because I liked the ease of how I could build and edit. I got my domain name, so it's jenlowrywrites.com. But I wanted to also show you what schools are using. They're using Wix and they're using the free sites. You're just gonna, you see how mine has like a very long name to it. If it's free, you're gonna get this very long domain name. But for your homeschool, then that's great. You don't need anything. You don't need to buy a domain name for your for your student. And they can still on Wix be very creative in what their titles are going to be. They could have a portfolio of work. You could give them a pseudonym name. Um, but I want to show you the Wix site. The Wix site is really easy to navigate and go through. It's um, I think it's visually appealing. Imagine if you had your child create their own website and it was to house family recipes, family stories. Their, your family members could contribute poetry. Um, you could add that and they could have a living history of their family online. Now, I did that for a while for my family when my dad uh, when, when my dad passed, we made a website in honor of my mom and my dad. We put my mom's recipes on there. We put my dad's autobiography there so the whole family could access it. And we also put pictures of them from their teenage years all the way 
um, just having that as a, a family history. So creating that website could be a very powerful connection, not only for your student, but for your family as well. And then you could share out those links. So as you can see, it says upgrade because this one, I'm free right now on Wix for my business. This was my business site. There is another one that people are usually using. I have never used Weebly, but it is free. And there are many students that are on Weebly. In fact, I have a whole class of fashion merchandise students who are using Weebly and they are blogging on Weebly. So they've created their blogs and they've attached it to their websites. So they all have free accounts. I went in as a coach and I helped them with their setup, with coming up with their brand, their colors, their style. Um, the way that they wanted it to, you know, questions that they needed to ask themselves about setting up a website. So I'll tell you, it's just phenomenal use for homeschool moms to really consider adding a website. And who knows, if you want your own homeschool website, go ahead and make one. Like I don't have a King's Academy website for my kids. I do have a Google Classroom for them, but I don't have a website. But it's something that, you know, I did use in ninth grade for Solomon's credit. Um, and Sam, he will have a website when he gets into ninth grade, but it'll be based on whatever his interest is at the time when he takes a journalism course as an elective. So if you wonder, like, well, how could you grade something like that? Well, you think about it. He's creating an online portfolio of all of his writing, his graphic design, his images, the way that he can manage and respond back and actually write comments back to people who are posting. This is a great article. Thanks for this input. Um, and he was getting people um, that were out there in website land commenting on some of his blogs because he was trying his best um, to really give some good critiques. Um, and I think that instead of him just turning in a journal to me, having the website and the blog made it feel and be a lot more authentic because he knew that there were other people that were following WWE and there would be a place for them to go and see work being produced on these lines. So I think it's very uh, important that you do have your child to create their own website before they graduate high school. Now, I went to an admissions uh, counseling session at a very prestigious private university that's like $70,000 a year. <laughs> super duper fancy place. And when we were sitting in there and they were um, talking about what they like to see for, from their applicants is that if you do have any kind of platforms that you've been developing, share that with them. If you have a blog, a website, I was like, okay, I went right back to that fashion merchandise class. And I was like, guys, this is what I was told in an admissions meeting. Your teacher's just not wanting you to do it right now to improve your writing and um, give you the exposure on how to develop these things for your future careers. But this could actually be a great college portfolio piece that you would be able to use. So don't discredit building this as a way to showcase um, your child's expertise in a certain area especially hobby-based areas. I think that that shows a well-rounded student. It doesn't necessarily have to be an academic-based website. Like I, like I allowed my child to choose whatever he wanted it to be about. And, and at that time, it was WWE. Now, could I have said, no, son, we can't be having that. No, sure didn't. I said, go after it. Create your own website. And he used the WordPress platform. There is the Wix platform. You can do GoDaddy. There are just multiple ways that you can do this for free. And I would really suggest that you check it out and add it into your lessons. If you need a plan, 
Email me, ask me questions.